All those games are the same. Got a new pillow? Huh? Daddy. We got a new pillow. Oh, Daddy got a new orange pillow. Daddy got a new orange pillow? Yes. Oh, yeah! Oh, it. Now, here, you want to help me? Yes. Hey, everybody. We got a today. What's inside? Mommy already opened it. Can you get it out? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Look. Can I see it? A box. A box. Put it on the table. All right. I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't have an aux port in my car, so I have to listen to CDs. I like it because I have a lot of music on my phone. I want to hold it. I'm going to open it. You want to see what's inside? Yes. All right, let's open it. Open it. It's for like $9 on eBay. Ready? Pull! Hey, there you go. Oh, look, it actually came with a uh, ox cord, too. That's cool. Seven. I thought I was gonna have to go buy one. There's a seven. A seven? Oh, it looks like a seven. It does kind of look like a seven. There you go. Whoa. Wow. What's this? It is for my radio in the car. Oh look, it actually like bends and stuff. I did not know that. It's got two USB ports, one to charge. I guess this one's if you have uh, I don't know if it'll work with iPhone to transfer music, but it does have an aux port there too. And a spot for a SD card if you have a bunch of music loaded on one of those. So I'm gonna go try this, see how well it sounds. All right, so I'm in my car, and we're gonna try this thing out. I have my other phone here, my iPhone 5S. That's where I have all my music. We're gonna plug this up and see what it sounds like. Uh, right now, they have Blink 182, take off your pants and jacket in my radio, and it sounds like... I know you probably can't hear the difference in how it's gonna sound since this is over a microphone. You're not actually in the car, but I'll uh, give my review of it and see um, if it's good enough. I mean, anything's better than having to keep switching CDs. I literally have like, this thing up here with a bunch of CDs and I have to keep uh, swapping them out whenever I want to listen to different things and it's annoying and this thing's kind of old so whenever I make a hard left turn all the CDs come flying out so I'm kind of tired of that too because I've scratched a couple of them but I guess if uh, I won't have CDs anymore it doesn't matter and I was gonna replace a radio but the radio was gonna be like I think about $80, $90, $100 this thing was eight bucks so Save some money if this works, which is going to be great. Landon's all buckled in, so we are ready to go. Let's do it. All right, let's get this plugged in here. I'm not sure which way's up, which way's down, but we're going to find out. Plug that in. Uh, let's see. It's set at 108. Let's, can we change this? What is? What's this? You mean? I probably should have read the directions before I started this, because I don't know. Oh crap what any of this is oh that's the volume okay so that's just the volume how do we change the station maybe if I hold it down kind of blink there nope that didn't do anything okay um maybe I'll just set my radio to what is that gonna be FM 108 oh my gosh and this thing's so messed up I can't even read the uh where I'm at on here that's awesome um, if I do this, are there any other buttons? Okay, I'm gonna try to get this set up really quick. 
Okay, so I got the number to change. I'm not sure how, but it started letting me change it when I was twisting the knob. And I think if I look at this, I think it says 87.7. Maybe. I have to kind of shield it to see. At night, it's a lot easier to see. So everything's just kind of shot in here. All right, I'm going to, um, let's see. Where's my music at? So I don't know if that actually says, let me try to tune it again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that says like 87.7. Whenever I switch it, it looks like it says 87.9. But I don't think that this thing's actually connecting because nothing's coming through. I'm just getting a bunch of static. I might have to go inside and get these instructions. Okay, we got the instructions. So apparently you have to hold down the M button and then rotate the button. Oh, and rotate the button at the same time. It goes between 87.5 to 108. Okay. Um, all right, let's try it. So I got to push and twist, pretty much, which is hard to do with one hand. Oh, there you go. Now it's switching. So apparently all that static was coming from this aux cord, so I don't know if maybe the aux cord doesn't work, but I forgot this is a Bluetooth uh, thing, so I'm going to connect it by Bluetooth instead. And maybe we can, because now I don't have that buzzing sound, and I think I'm actually connected to it on 87.9. I'm going to figure out how to pair this. Maybe i got to hit some buttons on the device to pair it. Let's see. Bluetooth for the first time. You need to pair your smart device with a unit. Uh, it detects the name as T16. Please pair it. Yeah, the hamburger. See, that hamburger is full of CDs. I don't want to have to have that anymore. So I'm going to pair it with T16. There's a zipper. Oh, there you go. I think I'm getting something now. So we'll turn the volume up, and uh, let's try some music I again. I my volume. Oh, I actually hear it now. And it got... Okay, so I'm going to turn the volume up on this. Hey, okay, okay. Okay, so I have my iPhone and the... Um, the Bluetooth or the uh, FM transmitter on Max. That's actually not bad. So it works. So I'm getting the aux cord. I think there's something. I'm gonna turn that down for a second. So in order to use the aux cord, I think um, your device supports Bluetooth function, and there's too much noise when streaming music that through the FM signal. You can use uh, aux port plug in. Oh, I see. Oh, I'll put that back. Okay, so the aux port is actually, okay, it's not to plug in a device. This is strictly a Bluetooth thing, so I have to use it with a device that has Bluetooth. That aux thing is if you want to pair Bluetooth, but your radio doesn't have Bluetooth, you run it out from there, and then you plug that into your radio, so you can use it as Bluetooth. Got it. And I was going to do a test call, too, because you can make phone calls on this thing. Supposedly it has like a microphone with noise canceling, but since I'm using the phone that I use to make calls in order to do this, um, I guess I have to do that another time, maybe record the video on my 5S. But it works, and it sounds, it sounds good. It doesn't sound horrible. I seriously thought that the sound was not going to be great, but uh, it sounds good. And that is a lot cheaper than having to um, replace my radio. I'm going to try really quick with uh, Pandora, see what that sounds like. Let's pick some good, like, um, I don't know, do Academy Is Radio, that's what I've been listening to lately. Ooh. I think it's because I have the bass turned all the way up on my radio, so let me turn that down a bit, maybe. There you go, that's not too bad. I'm going to turn the bass down. Alright, you don't understand how stoked I am, I'm so tired of using these CDs when I have all this music on my phone, so this is awesome. Super stoked. It works very well. I'm going to unplug it here for a second. I got this thing on eBay. I will put a link in the description below. And the guy that shipped it, actually, I don't know if it's a company or whatnot, I ordered something else the day before I ordered this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it because I want one and I've been wanting one. And um, I mean, this thing got here really quick. I think I ordered it on Thursday and it's Saturday. So uh, a two day turnaround isn't bad. And I think you can actually see it right here where the microphone is. I think that's the. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a micro. I think it's a microphone hole right there for calls. 
So I'm actually gonna test that out really quick. I won't be able to record it like I said, but um, I'm gonna give it a shot. What? Yeah. So again, I'm just, I'm so happy. You know what? I'm gonna check the uh, charging port as well. See how well that works. So let's do that. All right, so I have my iPhone cable here. And first I'm gonna plug it into the actual charging one, the one that has a charging symbol next to it. I'm gonna plug up my phone. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's charging. Perfect. Hey, look at that. And then I'm gonna actually plug it into the music part. And it's still charging it too. Alright, so I'm gonna actually pair it to this phone, like I said now, and see if I can make a phone call. So Oh man, I'm also, I'm so excited. But um I'm also gonna go to Guitar Center here in a bit with uh, our friend Ryan because he wants to get a guitar and start learning how to play. So I'm gonna help him out uh, with the what? basics since that's Put all that I pretty much know is the basics. And I need to get new guitar strings for our guitar too, so I'm gonna go do that. Bye everybody, see you later. Okay, so I just realized I had the volume down earlier, but when it says that the Bluetooth device is ready to pair, it definitely sounds like an Asian woman talking. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. But I did try the phone call and Crystal said that it sounds normal, like a normal Bluetooth call would probably be if it was in the car. So that's cool. And I guess you couldn't really hear a lot of the background noise. So that's awesome, it sounded fine. I think I have the volume turned up. So it's on, I'm gonna pair it with this. The Bluetooth device is connected us successfully. The Bluetooth device is connected us successfully. It is connected us successfully. I am glad though that they made it in English. For all I know, they could have just done it in Japanese and I'd have no idea what it was saying. But awesome. This is great. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes. So happy that this actually worked. Hey, like I said, I got to contact uh, Ryan because we're going to head over to um, Guitar Center here in a minute. So I'm going to do that now. Play us out, iPhone. I used this song in my uh, video from when we went to Bush Gardens. Well, let's get the whole intro, maybe. Fast forward. No, seriously, I think that sounds better than my regular radio. Anyway, deuces! Can we get any fruit for the land now? Yeah, we want to, if they have strawberries. Chris is listing skills. Ugh, such an ugly list. Do I need mm -hmm. oil? Mm -hmm. What? Oh yeah, we should buy more oil. Right there, yeah, just sign right there. Where's the next one gonna go? Oh my god, we're running out of room! We're at the start on a new piece of paper. Oh my god, syrup's written on this paper! Hold on. Did you put a piece of paper over my list where I wrote syrup? Yes. Because you didn't like the way I wrote syrup? Yes. Because my Y's, which is that letter there. Yes. My Y's and my U's look the same. Look at that. Can you tell? You only know that's a Y because I spelled syrup. But it could be syrup or syrup. Your list? I'm just going to buy a spoon. Yes. Maybe one. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go mess with Landon. Oh, you got all of them that time. Good job, Yay! bud. Yay! I win. I win. I win. Do you win. Let me see your win dance. Show me your winning dance. I win. I win. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I win. I win. I win. I win. <laughs> Have you seen his winning dance? I win. I win. Good job. Hey, so I haven't taken a lot of video today and I didn't do a vlog yesterday, so I actually just wanted to talk about some things that happened today. The only thing that really happened was that I got that uh, FM transmitter with Bluetooth um, and super stoked about that. Uh, the other thing was Landon wanted to keep playing outside after we were outside because he always wants to play outside, which is cool because he's an outside kid. But 
Um, I was inside taking care of a couple things. So finally, we get the time to go outside. And as soon as we walk out the door, I see two gentlemen on bikes and helmets on with white shirts and ties and dress pants. And I think you can kind of see where this is going. <laughs> and at first, they were riding. It didn't look like they were going to stop at all. And um, Landon says hi to everybody. I mean, um, <clears throat> he's a very friendly kid. So he says hi to everybody that walks by him when he's outside. So immediately when we get out the door, he just starts yelling, hi, 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 my name's Landon, hi, hi, because he always wants to make new friends. So of course they stop and they say hi back and all of a sudden they're like standing at the end of the driveway. I was like, this is going to happen right now. <laughs> And I was actually just gonna film Landon playing outside a little bit and get some b-roll for the video along with anything else we were gonna do today and Instead I had like a 30 to 45 minute conversation with a couple of Mormon guys Which actually it wasn't bad. I mean, of course, you know the reason that they're doing it is because they want people to join their church So at the end of the conversation they gave me their card, which I do have right here with the address of where their church is, saying that we should come by and check them out, if they can come back and talk to me and Crystal. And in all honesty, they were really nice dudes. Definitely, it was a good conversation. Uh, nothing against Mormons or them, actually. And here's the other side of the card. I guess that's Jesus, it looks like. And it has their address, their phone number, and I ended up giving them my phone number, and they're gonna come back on Monday to talk. Maybe. I have no intention joining the Mormon Church um, I don't believe in what they believe in I was raised Catholic and that's just how it is nothing against them at all I know that they have to do their thing which is a lot of churches they go out on missions and I wouldn't say try to convert people but they want to bring people to Jesus Christ which is what these guys said more power to them more power to you whatever religion you may be um, I actually I'm not really Catholic anymore. I don't really like organized religion anymore. Um, we went to this Baptist church and I feel like a lot of what happened in that church is what tore my family apart. It's a whole nother story about organized religion. So I talked to the Mormon guys and it really wasn't that big a deal. It was kind of a long conversation and I prayed with them at the end. Um, they were really nice and uh, like I said, I have nothing against those guys. It was actually pretty cool but then my neighbor after I closed the door and I was inside uh, someone knocked at the door I thought maybe they'd come back like they wanted to tell me something else or maybe they forgot something but it was my neighbor and he had printed me a little packet of why I shouldn't believe what Mormons believe and I was like this is crazy <laughs> talking this much about religion I don't normally like talking about religion just because a lot of people get into arguments about it because everyone's so headstrong about what they believe in and why other people are wrong so I just kind of you know let him say his piece as well and move on from there moving on other things to talk about um I have my microphone um, that I record from now and it is not as good as the one I normally like to use especially when I'm doing like um this just talking into the camera but the one that I have I had the Rode Video Mic Me is it the Rode Video Mic Me? yes the Rode Video Mic Me it's broken essentially um here it is right here let me get the poof ball off of it poof ball the windscreen which this windscreen is great I'm gonna keep that even though the mic isn't really working um so the mic like I was using it when I was drunk which I probably should have been using this mic instead that I'm using now which is my Ceremonic iMic. The only reason I don't like the Ceremonic iMic is um, when things get too loud it kind of peaks and you can hear it the audio gets a little distorted so I like using this because it has a lot softer sound it's a lot clearer especially when you're just talking to the camera and if I want the sound to be focused on a specific area this is the mic to go with. So it's a shotgun style mic, which I did a review on this. Um, that is also on my channel. If you scroll down below, you'll see it. It's not that too many videos back since I just started my blog. If you can look here, you see that the uh, jack is kind of bent forward a little bit. I'm pretty sure you can see that. It's not straight up and down. It's facing this way-ish. So when I plug it in, 
and I tighten the back piece on there it kind of pulls it back a little bit and I don't think the connection is that strong so especially when I move my phone it makes a lot of cracking noises so I am in the process of buying a whole new set of gear of how I'm gonna be doing my vlogs um, I'm gonna get the Rode video mic oh, what's it called the Rode you know what I can't remember what it's called but it is exactly like this one except it's meant for like DSLR cameras so I'm getting a, um, a mount for my phone that has a hot shoe mount and it'll mount on there and that way um, even if the cable goes bad the mic's still good because this one I honestly I mean I could probably pull it apart and fix it but I'd probably just screw it up more just because I mean I can fix things but I'm not that good especially this thing this thing's constructed very well I'm not sure I'd have probably have to break it open in order to do it which I don't want to do so I'm really sad that this is broken. Anyway, so tonight we are gonna watch Fantastic Beasts, which Crystal is out picking up right now while she's running errands. Um, I did not go to Guitar Center with Ryan today because Crystal had to go grocery shopping. So we're gonna go tomorrow and I'll get that for the vlog. Um, me trying to convince him that I am awesome about knowing about guitars. <laughs> no, I already told him that I'm, I don't have vast knowledge about guitars, but he wants me to go with him. He feels like it all make them a little more comfortable uh, with the whole buying process. I need to pick up strings for us too anyway because our guitar strings on our acoustic are about five years old. So they sound terrible. They feel terrible on your hand. And you know when you have old strings, probably guitarists will know this if you've left strings on there for an extended amount of time. These are really bad smell on your fingers. It just smells like, I mean your hands just smell like metal and pennies and stuff. I mean, I don't like it and it doesn't feel good. We are also gonna watch, well I don't know if we're gonna watch this tonight or maybe the next night. But um, Chris is gonna pick up another movie. Crap, what movie is it? La La Land. We are gonna watch La La Land, which we'll probably do tomorrow, because after one movie, Crystal gets fairly tired, so I doubt we'll watch two movies tonight. Uh, that is the plan tonight. Tomorrow is planned out as well, kinda. I'm just gonna go to Guitar Center. That's all that I really got. And also, uh, me and Crystal wanna do a pork challenge. I don't know, that sounds kinda funny. But um, Hardee's and I think Arby's have this new like pork sandwiches out. And we got some coupons in the mail. And we love coupons uh, for food. We love coupons for food. Hardee's is a buy one get one free on their new uh, pork sandwich, which I forget what it's called. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna get one sandwich one day and then we're gonna try the other one the next day. I don't know which order we're gonna go in. I kinda wanna do the Hardee's one first tomorrow while we're both off and then on Monday when Crystal gets off work we'll get the Arby's one since that's right across the street from us it's really not that far um and then we will come to a verdict about who has the best sandwich anyway I'm waiting for Crystal to get home I think Landon fell asleep on the couch because he said he was tired and he wanted to eat waffles while he did that I felt bad because we don't have any syrup in the house and Crystal forgot to pick up the syrup today but that is the plan anyway I'm going to end the video here tonight because that's all that we're doing. We're just going to watch Fantastic Beasts and then drink a little bit and then, I don't know, maybe watch La La Land. We'll see.